My phone, baby. Are we on the live? All right, but we're on the live. Cool. Cool. Uh, let me start recording this, and we are rolling with the Let's podcast. Go. Episode 10. We're getting better. Believe that? Getting better and better. Episode 10, bro. It's getting better and better, everyone, man. Oh, my God. It is. I feel like, you know, uh, I don't know what kind of response you've gotten from the podcast, but... I've had a couple like close friends, close homies sit through, you know, a good amount of the episodes and you know, they got some really good feedback for us. So So far the feedback's been positive. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean yeah. it's and it's it's fun, man. It's just fun doing it, you know, and it's gonna be cool looking back and like seeing the progress of our episodes and yeah. like and, and yeah, man, it's super exciting. Uh so today, episode ten, we're gonna go over what? Speed. We're going to go over speed, and we're going to go over the concept of just starting. Okay. Just start. Just right? do it. Right? Um, I, I want to name the episode. This is what the name of the episode okay. is going to be. Impatience with actions, patience with results. I like it. Impatient, impatient with actions, patience with, with results. results. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I love it. It, it hits a little deep. That's some deep. That's, that's uh, philosophical. Yeah. I got this from Naval Ravi Khan, by the way. Well, he's, a, he's an angel list founder, yeah. he's a main investor in yeah, 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 yeah. Twitter and things like that. But yeah, I mean, the, the whole point of what, what we discussed was really just pushing people to start. Absolutely. Right? Um, I know you're a very action-driven person. Yeah. Right? When, whenever we talk about something right. and, you know, an actionable step, step comes up, you're not one to put it off. You're like, hey, let's do it right now. Yeah, I mean, and that's, it's... Uh, it's not. I'm not really trying to. It, it's just. It's just how I tick. No, for right? sure. This is how I tick. Some people or don't. They don't tick that way. For me, and I'm not saying it's always good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. I'm not saying it's always good, but I would say most of the time it's good. You I think know? so. I think so. Especially if it's directed in the right way. You know, the, in business and entrepreneurship. But right. I mean. I mean. The whole point is, is that if you have an idea or you have an ambition towards creating a business or being an entrepreneur or taking any sort of step in life, you're, you, there's no reason to wait for it. There's no right time. There is no right time. And right. That, that is, dude, I'll, okay, read a book right now, right? Okay. Called uh, The Leadership Habit. Okay. And I was reading the day on my lunch break and it said that, uh, and, I, I, and I'm not a big outline, I, I don't like outline stuff in books and yeah. I don't do all that. Like some yeah. people, they write in them, but yeah, this yeah, one yeah. I actually did, I highlight it. And it said that um, the core, the core reason for the reason why people procrastinate, yeah, is because they feel like they can't achieve what they want. So it's a lack of confidence in the action or the process of it, and it makes people procrastinate. And let's think about it. Isn't that true? It is. Because because I'm gonna tell you right now. We're sitting here. You got I ten over here. If if you told me, Blake. There's a box with a million dollars in cash. It's across I-10. You have to run across traffic, hop the the, the middle median thing, yeah. but it's a million. And I and you showed me a video, and I knew it was there. Like 100% knew it was there. Dude, I'm getting out of this chair and I'm running across traffic right now. Yeah. Okay. What would cause me? <laughs> right. No, I think no. That's, that's how you are, right? And and I'm gonna tell. Can I tell the story yeah. about the podcast? That's, the, the, the first let, me, let me finish real quick. Okay, all right, all right, all right. The, the point of this, the point of this is this. Yeah. What would prevent me from doing that? The lack of belief that there's a million bucks over there. Yeah. So my whole point of the story is this. That's true. The reason why people procrastinate, and me and everybody, is not because you're afraid to take the action or you're afraid of the the your idea. You believe deep down that it won't be successful. I agree. And so you're not, you're not inspired and, 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 and it's that lack of belief that keeps you because if I knew there's a million bucks, bro, I'm running two miles. No, I feel you. But, but if I had, but if you said there's a million bucks, but I didn't know and I'm like, ah, yeah, I'm not going. No, you're not. Right. So, and, 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 and that, again, that goes back to the fact that you just need to start with some sort of action, yes. right? Like there has to be some, something and, and again, 
the point of this is to share our stories, right? And 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 what I mean by our stories is I have a story about when you first wanted to do your own podcast. Yeah. So Blake wanted to do a podcast, and this dude calls me and he's like, "Hey man, I want to do a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's get it rolling." I was like, "All right, bro, let's do it." Right? And so and he called and he we set it up for a day. You call me the day of, maybe four hours before the podcast, and you're like, "Hey man, what kind of mic do I need to buy?" Yeah. Right? Again, no hesitation. Right. Right. As soon as we got there, it's like, all right, what app are we using to post the, the like we asked all the questions as we started getting to those bridges. Right. Right. It, it was done more by action than anything else. Right. I'm, I'm the same exact way, you know, and I'm pretty sure with your your past, your personal training career. Right. The other features or things that you've, you've conquered. Right. They all happen through the process of action, of just taking action like. Um, for example, somebody, t- when I was 17, bro, somebody was like, hey, you can make money flipping concert tickets. And I was like, what? Right. I was like, how? They're like, oh, well, you get pre-sale VIP access, you buy them for $100 uh, uh, a seat floor, for like floor seats per, like per seat, and then you could sell them for a lot more depending on who the artist is, right? right? Dude, Drake. Drake had a concert at Toyota Center, Okay. right? I bought eight seats. Okay, hundred and twenty-seven dollars each. Okay, I flipped six of them for fifteen hundred a pop. Damn! And then I kept two of them, and I took my homie, and we went. Let's go! I got paid. You want a return on your investment? I got paid fat to go to Drake. Let's go! Right, dude. Hey, that's that's a that that's, was on the first try. Dude, that's a nice little hustle right there. That, that's that, that was on the first try. Yeah. And 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 what did that take? I could have been like, man, how do I get this access? Oh, this is gonna be this. It's gonna be that. No, I took action. Right. Right. Um, when you with your with, with wholesaling, me with wholesaling, when we first started. Yeah. Bro, we took action. Right. Like we didn't know what it was. We were going and knocking on doors. We were no doing idea. everything possible no clue. to get a deal under contract to just understand because doing is better than listening. No, no, no. Doing is better than watching. Reading is better than listening. Yeah. Right? So when you do something, you are going to learn a lot more about it than you sitting down trying to read it or study it or watch someone else do it. 100% because it gives you it gives you um, real life experience and real life experience gives you input and in, in data, real data that that a book or, or even someone else's experience can't give you yeah. and i know some people you know their philosophy is and it's fine you know i like to learn from others i'm going to watch others yeah I, I don't know for some reason i'm the guy like i have to touch the hot stove i don't know why like i'm that guy like i just need to know you don't know? touch it it's hot yeah yeah i'm touching i'm, it. I'm touching it. <laughs> but then i'm like okay i don't need to touch it now right yeah, yeah, yeah. and so like i'm the guy that you know I, i've made a lot of mistakes but one thing is like once I make a big mistake, I I, I never make it again. Yeah. I always learn. But it's that it's that real but I think from a from a, a learning standpoint, it embeds like deep, deep down emotionally, because you have deep emotional now responses. And there's some psycholo I'm not a psychologist, I don't know, but I'm just saying like when you have a, an emotion behind the learning experience, it sticks. Yeah. It sticks, right? Yeah. Versus very a very cerebral approach, like, well, don't do A and don't do B. Yeah. That shit don't work for me. Yeah. Like I gotta know no. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't just need to think, I need to know, yeah. you know? And I think taking action is so important because as you start moving in the direction you're supposed to go, you start gathering knowledge and experiences and that come, and then that builds confidence, Yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, so get shit done. I mean, and, and what's crazy is that momentum is, is created through action and momentum is I, um, everything. Bro, I'm, I'm be real with you. Dude, I'm, I always say this: momentum is the strongest strategy. Yeah, it trumps everything, bro. Yeah, and what what creates momentum? Action, action, action. right? Mass that's times it. acceleration is a force. That's it. That's it. That's physics, so baby. Take, that's it. That's what it is, yes. right? Um, and so, with that being said, that's what we're all trying to say. Like, if you have an idea, if there is something you're trying to do, if there is a business uh, investment, whatever it is. You're not going to learn by sitting there and studying it all day no. and just looking at it. No. Right? And, like, you're just going to keep hating yourself for not pulling the trigger. That's it. Right? So there's no reason not to pull the trigger, especially with, what, with what's going on in the world now. Right. Nothing's fucking stable. 
Nothing is. And there's nothing, and, and yeah. you go back to physics, nothing is static, right? Yeah. Energy is constantly moving. Yeah. We're energy, we're being, I mean, bro, there's nothing that's going to just stay the same. No. You know, and I no. think it's, it's, it's tough because it's like human nature and it's like we, I, I mean, everybody, you know, it's like you get, it's easy to get stuck in a rut. Yeah. You know, to me, the only way I get out of ruts is like you said is don't think, just do. Yeah. Just start taking baby steps. Yeah. Incremental steps yeah. moving forward. Momentum is the, is the strongest thing that there is, man. Like we, we have momentum now built up on our team. Yeah. And I told my guys, I was like, listen, you do not have to be Wolf of Wall Street sales guy. Yeah. You don't have to be Mr. Real Estate Guru. Yeah. But here's what you got to do. You got to make calls Monday through Friday. Yeah. You got to be consistent on your follow-ups. Yes. And you got to touch base with our, our, our top 10 hit list. If you do that every freaking day, dude, you're going to get results. And what's most important is we're going to gather momentum. Yeah. And that's what we have now. Yeah. And it, we, we didn't do nothing crazy. No. It was just every day. No. We, we chop the yeah. tree every day. We swing the bat yes. every single day. Yes. And it starts building and building and building. And the next thing you know, you have a lot of cool stuff working at the same time. Yeah. You know? No. I, and I, again, and all that momentum that's so important in driving results, it's all created through action. That's it. Right? So put the action in, create the energy, do the things, and be patient with the results. And through momentum, things will start resolving. Absolutely. Things will start coming to existence. That deal that you wanted, that sale that you're trying to make, that job you're trying to get, that whatever it is, right. you know, it, it could it could be anything, right? And it just comes with starting. And so, like again, like I'm gonna keep hammering this. I'm gonna keep saying I don't care if I'm, I don't give a fuck if I'm being repetitive. Right. Just do it. Absolutely. There, there, there's no reason not to. Hundred like, percent. You're you're not gonna lose anything. Right. What's the worst that can happen? Right. True. That that that's a question that I love asking like myself, right? right? I took this trip to Alaska, right? I wasn't gonna take it. I wasn't gonna take it. You know, my, my boy uh Borna, shout out to him from Clear Lake, you know, he really, really, you know, was like, dude, just come. I would love for you to come this and that. And immediately I was like, you know what? What's the worst that can happen? Right. Like what's the worst? Right? I Why is so to me, let me ask you this, why what what was the thoughts that said you shouldn't go? I have clients, dude. You have clients, I got yeah. deals. Right. I got, I got, you know, contracts, option pending, pending, right? If there's something that fucks up with the lender or something that you know fucks up with the deal, something happens. Like I, I want to be present. Of course, right? It's it's the That's, ultimate. Yeah. It's the ultimate sense of control you have at being a player on this field. Right. Right. When I have a deal and I'm representing a client, I want to make sure it's going well. I don't want and like. Here's the worst thing, when a deal is option pending or something's happening and a client's trying to reach out to me and I got no service. Yeah. I'm not there. No, I get it, man. Right? And so it. I was paranoid, I was like, you know what? I, I don't think I should go. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna tell everybody I'm going. Right. I'm gonna tell my clients, I'm gonna tell everybody. I'm gonna, the moment the trip was booked, I was like, yo, I'm going on this day, I'm going on this day, I'm gonna be gone, I'm sorry, but let's stay in contact. Let's right. make sure we everything works out. And right. dude, everything worked out. It, it worked out and you thought you were like that nah, it's a good point worst case scenario right I mean I like to do that too because if you can identify worst case scenario and you're like I'm not gonna die yeah it's gonna be okay yeah you know it um it kind of gives you a little more confidence to you know moving forward yeah and the thing is is you're it isn't you're still gonna feel nervous those things are never gonna go away yeah um, so there is no like magic pill for that. It no. just is what it is. No. Um, I feel nervous. Like there's times when, you know, I feel uneasy or, or, you know, um, self doubt, right? Everybody, I don't care who you are. We're human. Yeah. We're human. There is no such thing as like some Supreme being that has, you know, unless you're God, you know, if you're a human, you, you feel moments of self doubt. It's so natural. So I think people think that high achievers don't feel that. No. When no, they actually do. They do all the time at a high level. At a high level, you know, and that's partly reason why they're high achievers because it's it's sort of a driving force too, right? Um, some of that, like if you look at Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, they're hypercritical of their game. Yeah, hypercritical, self doubt. You know, that's why they work their ass off in the gym. There's so many times when, you know, that they don't feel like they can get the job done, but because they're they're so dedicated, they move forward anyways. I mean, it's, right. it's the momentum, it's the action that they're taking, right? Like, for example, if you and me are about to walk in and negotiate a deal, 
the more research we've done on the deal, the more confident we've been negotiating it. 100%. Right? But if you and me haven't done that much work or we don't know what the comps are or something like that, bro, you don't, you're not, you're not going to know from your head from your ass. You're, gonna be, you're definitely going to be uneasy, right? You're, you're going to lose the deal. You're going to piss people off. You're going to piss yourself off. Like, right. it's just, you know, doing more work builds more confidence, which helps you perform better. 100%. Right? And so... And, and taking the action is all of it, yep. right? Yes, plans are important. Yes, writing down your goals are important. But that's not all it is. Right. You can sit down and write your goals every freaking morning, but if you're not taking the actions and you're not checking boxes and you're not getting things done right. that are, are doing those actionable things that are going to lead to your goal, like, and, you know. It's only half the equation. Right, but I'm a bit, and I'm a big believer in the in the mental component of it. Obviously, uh, it's it's huge. You got to do that, but you got to follow through. Yes. you got to execute. Yes, you know, execution is king, right? Yeah, uh, and you got to not fool yourself. Right, like being in the entrepreneurial space and really kind of breaking out and having that experience, trying to do that over and over and over, dude. I learned that sometimes. I would justify productivity with something that wasn't actually productive. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like where I'm like, yeah, you know, I I, I did uh, I did three posts or I did something, and I was just like, all right, yeah, like I did some, like no, dude, no. like be real with yourself, be true to yourself, understand what those things are, and and be fair with yourself at the same time. Yeah. No. Hundred percent. And that's a good point. Uh, to me. Um, I look at productivity, you know, I mean, productivity can be many different things, but the first thing you need to look at is what is the actions that move the needle? Yes. Right. So they need to be, they need to be, um, to me, from a business standpoint, revenue generating activities. Yeah. Talking to sellers, talking to buyers, making phone calls, following up with emails. Yes. Closing deals, talking to title companies. Yes. Those are productivity. Those are actions that close deals and bring in money. That is what productivity is. So for me, kind of the way we do it, I told my guys, I was like, listen, we don't, you don't need to fucking work nine to nine to be productive. Here's what you gotta do. We're 10 to four, baby, 10 to four. From 10 to four, we're 100% intentional. Locked in. Locked in, balls to the wall. Yeah. Everything about a deal we're doing. Everything that we do is money, money and revenue generated. We're talking to clients, we're talking to sellers, we're talking to buyers, I'm talking to title companies. We're not making spreadsheets, we're not, you know, doing it, you know, all that stuff is outside of those hours. But yeah. 10 to 4, yeah. we're 100% about generating uh, new opportunities, right? Good. And, and that, it's just about time blocking. Yeah. You know, like you don't have to do this all day, 15 hours a day. No. You know what I mean? No. Um, but you're right because a lot of uh, entrepreneurs, is, especially if they're new in business, you can kind of fool yourself and say, well, I'm going to do this and do that. But you're really avoiding the necessary task. Yeah. Right? Picking yeah. up the phone. Yeah. Calling a buyer, calling a seller, yeah. talking to a homeowner, whatever whatever your business is, right? Yeah. Making offers. I'm gonna drop another philosophical line. Let's go. Ready. Let's go. It's, it's by Naval. Let's guy, go. Right? Let's go. He says uh, something that I love is uh, is that never fool anyone. Also, keep in mind that you yourself are the easiest to fool. Because you can fool yourself. You can fool yourself. You can trickery. Fool your, yeah, you can fool yourself with. That's why. Anybody that wants to achieve like oneness and mental peace within themselves, you have to listen to yourself. You have 100%. to talk to yourself. You have to spend time with yourself. When you love your girlfriend, your wife, your uh, your brother, your sister, your parents, what do you do? You spend time with them. Yeah. Right? How come people don't schedule time for themselves? Right. Right? How come people don't spend time with themselves? Why don't you ever spend an hour letting your brain wander on its own and, and think about that? Right. Right. Like these are things that are going to help you be truthful with yourself, being able to reflect. Some people can't be alone. Right. They always need to be with someone. Yeah. I need to talk. Uh, yeah. I need to talk to this brother. They, they can't yeah. be alone. Why can't you be alone? Dude, that's like one of my favorite things to do. The, me too. You know, me and too. It's, it, to me, it's recharging. Um, and I'll be honest with you, past month, I haven't had a whole lot of time to do that. Yeah. Um, I've had a very little amount of time to do that, but when I do, I really soak it in and enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but it's you, different. It is, but you got to do. It. I mean, I have to do it, right? Yeah. It's it's a it's a way to recharge. Like today, I mean, I just took thirty minutes and went to my my, my office by myself and read, right? Yeah. I needed to recharge. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got to do that because, 
And that's actually going to help your action and your productivity when you're coming from that place where you're in tune with yourself. Yes. And you're able to not just take random action, but you're able to, to be in tune with the right action. Yes. And I'm, I'm a big believer in that too. Like, yeah. don't just do stupid shit. No, of course not. You know? But but don't try to perfect your scripted action to Oh, achieve. no, 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 no. Right? Like, no, no. there's no reason to like, oh, okay, I'm going to go, uh, you know, cold call this person tomorrow. And it's like, oh, you know, uh, Mondays are busy days. I'm going to call them on Tuesday. Right. Right, like bullshit like that. Well, and that, that's a way you, you, you know, people sell themselves on, on not doing something, Ex- right? Exactly. And that's the most scariest thing. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, why didn't you make that call today? Oh, it's Monday. You know, I thought I'd call them tomorrow. Yeah. What? But it goes back to that procrastination, like the book was saying, it's the reason why someone holds off on that call because they don't feel like it's going to be successful. It's true. It's the truth, man. But that's more unconscious. It is, it's, but 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 bring it's, it, it's an unconscious thought because. But if you know what I'm trying to say, I and mean, I'm, I'm really ta- I'm preaching to myself because this is like I saw that I read this in the book. If you know that that's the reason, then whenever you catch yourself, you know that there's something unconscious that you're you're. You don't believe I get it. You know, you see what I'm yeah. saying? Because, dude, when you know it's going to be, bro, everybody does the shit, right? Yeah. What, like, okay, we'll talk about just human nature. So, you know, uh, guy sees a girl at a bar. Yeah. He wants to approach her. He doesn't do it. Why? He doesn't think it's going to work. Yeah. But if he knew the girl was like digging him, 100%, he walks over. There is no procrastination. Yeah. Procrastination is. You don't believe in what you're doing or what you want to do. Yeah. And I know you're right. It is unconscious. But I think if we just, you're, it's not because you're lazy. It's not because you're not motivated. It's because you don't believe it's going to freaking work. That's why you're avoiding it. That's why you're avoiding it. Interesting. And you're avoiding pain. Yeah. Perceived the rejection. Rejection. The no. But. The failure. Most of that's a bunch of bullshit. It is. You know? It is. So I, I'm saying all this because I'm, I'm saying this to myself. Like, I'm not, you know, I haven't had this figured out, but it, it came to my awareness today. And I was like, man, and I'm pretty good about not procrastinating, but there are some things I do. And if you're procrastinating, it's not because you're lazy or uninspired. It's because yeah. you don't think it's going to work. Yeah. If I knew a client was going to do a deal right now, bro, I'm calling him. That's true. You call everybody. I call everybody. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, so if we catch ourselves avoiding doing something, it's because we don't believe in it. It's true. And it's not because the, it's the process that we don't believe in, it's because we feel like it doesn't work. And that's something unconscious. Could be a lack of faith, lack of uh, confidence in what we're doing. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But just being aware, you you, you, you clear all that stuff up. It's, it's done. So, I don't know. I just thought that was crazy because I read that today and I was like, man, it's interesting because I always thought procrastination was like, you're lazy. Oh my God, you're not motivated. No. Dude, nah, man. No. I mean, there are plenty of people I know that aren't lazy but procrastinating. Procrastinating. Yeah. It's and and it, and it, and it's it's caused by exactly what you're saying. They may not be consciously thinking that. No. But that's the reason why that's they're the not reason. taking the action, right? Yeah. And and um, and you know, one of the things you said it makes a lot of sense, and I just want to clarify for everyone is that. Yes, it's better to take scripted action. It's better to have a plan. It's better to have uh, um, you know, a strategy going into whatever you're going after. But sometimes you don't want to sit there and over strategize. No, over, over You don't it. want to simulate and play what if scenarios when you haven't even gotten to the front door. Exactly. Right? Like so don't you know, don't think too much on it. Just take action because you're gonna plan these things and there's gonna be fifteen hundred more steps that you never thought of. Dude, and that's the truth. Every time I, I get into something new, dude, it always it, and it usually it work it works out in my favor, but things happen that I didn't plan, right? It, 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 it happens in your favor because you're willing to battle those uncertainties. Right. You're not scared to like, for example, the, the podcast room. We need to buy a freaking SD card. Yeah, yeah, we need yeah. to buy an SD card to use this thing, right? So like, if we hadn't gotten here to do the podcast. We would have never known. No, we would have never known, right? So it's like, it's just one of those things. And so at the end of the day, what we're trying to say is freaking take action. Man. Take action. Take action. Do Absolutely. something. Absolutely. Do something. And if and if you if there's something that you want to take action on, but you're but you want to do it but you're avoiding it, identify is it because you don't believe it's going to work? Identify if you don't believe it's going to work, or freaking DM us. Yeah. Ask us. Pick our brain. I, I'm sure you'd love to. 
I love I, it. I, I would too. Hit me up. Yeah. Let's if, go. if anyone's struggling with starting something, DM us right now. Message us. Hit us up. Our podcast is on Spotify now. It's yes. on Apple Podcasts. Let's go. We're everywhere, right? Let's go. So opportunity zone, yeah, baby. Opportunity zone, episode 10. Impatience with actions, patience with results. Let's go. Hey, great episode, brother. Yes, sir. Let's go. We out. Saved.